In the third and final episode of Editing Data in Manager, I cover two specific operations, ramp correction and data compare. A ramp correction lets you correct the data for systematic errors. You can correct for errors in the data logger's clock and for drift in the instrument. It works by adjusting the recorder's values to match the check values. You select your site and measurement to edit. I just want to change this time range and I'll get rid of quality codes and uncertainty to simplify the view. Tick the ramp correction box and you can load any existing check data if you want to see it. We get these extra columns for the check measurement, its date and time, and columns for the recorded date and time. Check data is the data generated when you take occasional readings to check the operation of the instrument that is measuring some environmental parameter. Check data is stored as a separate but integrated time series. Thanks to better electronics, errors in the clock are largely a thing of the past now. I didn't ask to see check data because I didn't want you to think you could sneak in and edit your check data at the same time. This is all about ramp correction and you can't save check data here. So if you're wanting to edit check data, escape out of here, put manager into check data view mode and select the data to edit from there. This is the check data editor and with the power of video editing software, I've just flicked straight back to editing the time series data. You can enter check values and apparent times here in order to do a ramp correction. These are the values you measured when you traced it into the field. The ramp correction always needs at least two check values, but often you'll want to just change the data around a finish time and a correction isn't needed at the start of the period. Rather than type in an extra check value, click on the row where you want to add a value and press Ctrl B. B is for boundary check and this is simply a check value that matches the recorder value. Click the toolbar button and the corrected data is drawn over the top of the original data. And you can always undo it. If you want to see the changes that have been made, you can look at the audit trail log. It's an access file and here's one I prepared earlier. Now I say that you can look at the audit trail log, but only if one has been set up for your file. It's simple to do, go to Manager Help and find Audit Trail in the index. Let's have a look at comparing data now. This function lets you look at the data from two sites, both in the graph and the grid control, and you can even copy data from the comparison site to the one you're editing. So you grab your data to edit as usual. I just want to choose my time range in here. Next, choose the Data Compare menu item. The compare pane appears here below the tree control. If you have manager really small on your screen, you may lose one or other pane, so just click and drag the border to change the relative sizes. Don't lose your tree control though, because you want to use it to select your comparison site and measurement. You can see the data from the comparison site is now drawn on the graph too. You can shift the time range of the comparison data. You can do this by entering a start date and time here, click apply, and the first value at the start time gets drawn at the start of the graph. You can also shift the time range by typing a lag in the box, or by clicking these arrows. The lag interval gets added to the times in the comparison site, which means the comparison site appears delayed. This is what you want if the comparison site is upstream of the site you're editing. If the comparison site is downstream, stick a minus sign in front to make it lead. To copy the data from the comparison site to the site that you're editing, select the data you want to copy and then press shift left arrow to copy it across.